I love like how you can go from being like this sweet, you know, and sometimes when I talk to you, I forget that you work in the industry because you just, I don't know, you seem like you have this side of you, which seems like so sweet and innocent, but then you say stuff like that. I'm like, oh yeah, she's actually got this like wild side to her, which is why I feel like that one scene that we shot together for Twisties with Lily LeBeau was so perfect. Oh, that the was good fun. book. Oh my God. That was so Stroke great. Stroke the good book. Oh God. You were Finger hilarious. Finger the good book. <laughs> so we shot the scene for Twisties where Charlotte played this um, kind of like door-to-door missionary um, and she came with the good book, you know, like, I guess, AKA the Bible, but we can't really say that in a scene because they're very careful about that kind Trademark, of Trademark, patented. Yeah, I don't know. I was just trying not to offend anybody, I guess. And um, she was trying to convince Lily to, you know, convert and um, be a religious person, I suppose. And just you played that part so incredibly well. She needs to. She she only she only needs one man in her life. Yes. To, she needs one man to fill all those holes. Yes. Yeah. And just like <laughs> your little, um, like all those little like jokes that you made and everything, and and just the way that you played that character so perfectly was just. I remember just sitting behind the camera trying so hard not to laugh. I was like, this is so funny i'm pretty sure at one point in time i did hear you and the <laughs> the lighting crew just like yeah yeah it was very difficult for me to like suppress my giggles and the way that like you were able to keep such a straight face throughout the whole thing i could just never do it that was so fun for me because lily lebeau is super hot yeah super hot and that was such a fun scene yeah like, we really connected and yeah. Oh yeah, it was super fun. Yeah, that was a great. It's pairing. a great pairing, yeah. And it's funny too because I'm I'm wearing a like a baggy pencil skirt that yep. goes below my knees. Yep. I now have so I have like my regular clothes and then I have my work clothes. You know, like uh-huh. I don't wear a lot of bohemian things, but I need them for right. certain scenes. Uh, right. So I now have like a row of Amish looking, like very. <laughs> preserved skirts yeah. specifically because I keep playing these religious roles. Yeah. Like the, the go-getter, do-gooder. Why do you think that you get cast that way? Maybe because I look innocent. Yeah. But, you know, because I don't have like any plastic surgery mm-hmm. and I have freckles and mm-hmm. maybe because of my background growing up in Utah, you yeah. know, with the LDS church, maybe that's why Yeah, I'm... Those you are do, three good reasons. Yeah, you do play the role really well. <laughs> so you grew up Mormon and fifty fifty. Fifty fifty? Yeah. So, so how do you mean? Like my mom's side of the family was like D G A F from the get go. Okay. And then my dad's side of the family, if you said fart, you would have to sit in the corner. Wow. So very different world. So wow. when I'd go to grandma's house, I actually have wardrobe specifically for when I go to my grandma's. Uh-huh. She thinks I'm a perfect angel. Wow. Okay. I have like I have special jewelry I wear. I have my like choose the right necklace. Oh my god. <laughs> and I wear those things when I go to grandma's. Wow. You know, but when I leave grandma's, oh, it's off. Wow. And she has no idea, huh? I don't think so. No. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you feel um, – so you grew up in a religious home. Only at grandma's. Only at grandma's. Yeah. How did you, like, deal with that dichotomy? And how did your parents meet? Like, they sound like kind of different people. But at home, they at home they weren't that strict about that. It was just, like, when you were going to, like, your grandparents. Yeah, yeah. I mean, my mom would, would be like, this and that. I mean, we'd be at the 4th of July parade, and I, and I was like, fire. Because I couldn't say truck, and she's just laughing, and everyone's like, right. oh, your daughter <laughs> is saying F- repeatedly over and over again, and she's three. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. it's adorable. Put a tube top on her. She loves it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but no, um, recently, as an adult, I went to visit my grandma and grandpa in Utah, and if I'm there visiting and it's a Sunday, I'll go to church with them. Right. And I haven't been to church in years. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. always avoid seeing them on Sundays to specifically avoid this because, like, what do you wear? Yeah. Nothing's right. Right. And so I'm wearing, you know, like some knee high flat boots. I'm thinking they're equestrian boots. These will be fine. Right. Mm-hmm. And of course, I already look like a floozy. <laughs> 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 so I'm sitting. Between my grandma and grandpa, and I'm going to, like, the special class that the older adults go to. And it's okay. that one time of the month where both sexes are in the same room. Because okay. otherwise, it's the women's ward and 
the men's world, the priesthood. You oh, know? wow. It's like okay. the women and then the priesthood, okay. the men that want to be priests and, you know. Right. So this is the time everyone comes together. And the woman running the class, because they take turns who's going to run the class, says, we have a last minute change to announce for today. Um... The bishop has, just five minutes ago, asked me if we could change today's topic to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I swear every single, like, cell in my body was like, they're looking at me. <laughs> hey, guys. If you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.